Hey guys, and welcome to one from the archive. This time, we've gone back in time again to the late 7.1.1. And um, I'm in my AMX 1375 alongside Nitrix, who is also in his 1375. And we are in a very favorable matchmaking. This was back when the uh, AMX 13. 75 was only tier 6 and it was allowed into games like this tier 7 battle and that's probably why it was so overpowered maybe a little bit because for the matchmaking and and the gun and the tank in general the um, the matchmaking wasn't very uh, well thought out back then but um, yeah, let's just take a look at this game because it's actually a really great one. It's in the 2000s, so it should be a ton of action going on here. A leopard tries to go forward and uh, gets taken out. Miss the T34-85. Another T34-85 pops forward by the rock and I get him in the side. He's still there, but as you can see, reloading and um, since then the uh, map has been changed so you can't do this anymore in the AMX 13 or any other French autoloader I don't think so because you uh, won't be able to sit and do this look forward and still be able to look down because the gun depression um, won't be able to on the hill that is here now so the small bump here has been changed. I hit the T29 uh, just very quickly without aiming really. So pretty lucky there. And as you can see I have camo net on. Of course it's not working when I'm moving like this. Still moving. He pops out again. Take his track and just keep firing because he can be hit and I will take him down. There we go, 22%, and he's dead. Now I'm just waiting for the T29. Yeah, he decides to not pop up, but I wouldn't have been able to do anything to him anyways. So I reload and start looking for new targets because I won't be able to penetrate his turret, and he knows it, I knows it, so he knows it, I know it. So, just moving on to other targets. I have 19 shells left, it's pretty decent, unless I, of course, decide to waste them. I hit him in the cabola there, start up the turret, and he's down to 23%. Yes. Oh yeah, uh, someone else pops up behind us. Uh, T34, fives, I think two of them. Yep. And uh, ah, he's protected by the wreck right there. Hit him though. And miss him. Then I gotta reload again. And then an ARL comes out. He's right in the open, so I could do anything I wanted to. To him, but um, still reloading. He's aiming my way and then stops and then thinks that he will probably be safe somehow. Don't know how, but uh, oh, I missed. Dang it. Well, that's how he is safe. As you can see, the um, T3485 decided to switch to HE shells and took out my gun and my. driver but I fixed them and I am now moving over to a position where I can hit him behind he's still behind the wreck but who cares I hit him right in the butt and then the T29 is coming for nitrix down there you can see it on the minimap I decided to reload because back then the reload was quite fast on the 13875 
it was only tier 6 and the damage was so and so. But uh, as you can see, I had plenty of time to reload after going over the hill. I wasn't very far I went, but um, plenty of time to reload and we take out the T29 with ease because he... Yeah, two autoloaders. Uh, you won't be able to survive that. And then the MX M4 is still live over here. Not for long. I try and get a um, Kamikaze, but as you can see, back then <laughs> you wouldn't die completely for ramming like that. Now you will, so don't do it. Oh, I got one shell left, actually now only, so uh, gotta be careful. Nitrate, I don't know how many shells he has, but he goes forward and gets an IS to the face. Sadly. I t decide to be a little bit of a coward. Let's just speed it up a little bit because he's coming and uh, I, I'm just moving away from him. Very careful here. Letting the T29 move forward. And then I'm actually just going to sit here and wait. Peeking out a little bit. Just to make sure that uh, he's not out there. An M6 pops up and I take a shot at him. And I hit him. Luckily, so I didn't just waste my shell. T29 decides to push forward and I take this opportunity to go forward and try and get to that base. Trying to get that um, M6 spotted just so they know where he is exactly. Tiger down at the west side is full HP. Just do this. Oh wait, not full HP, but um, he w he had plenty of HP to go forward and and kill this M6. I think actually I calculated on the fly and get it to that he can hit him three five three to four or five times, and I write that. just so the tiger won't be scared or I don't know maybe he didn't know the own, own his own strength alright come on tiger and then I write what I just told you -da. you can take five shots from him he can only take one shot from you yep he's very low HP as you can see very low HP but it just seems like the, uh, the tiger didn't really want to get the kill. I decided to show my butt just to tease him a little bit. And... Yep, hit in the face. And he then shoots after the tiger. And misses. And then I spot him again up here. And the T-29 takes care of him, I believe. Yep. And boom, yep, T29. And since it is, the old client will be able to take a look at the scores. 2000 XP and nearly 50,000 credits. I missed 9 shells, so it's a little bit annoying. Could have been used for a lot more better things, like getting a better score. But yeah, that was. One from the archive, AMX 1375.